A homomorphism is a function between two groups that preserves the group structure in each group. It's a tool for comparing two groups for similarities. Sometimes two groups are more than just similar. They're identical. In this case, we no longer call a function a homomorphism. Instead, we call it an isomorphism, and we say the two groups are isomorphic. Let's give a precise definition of an isomorphism. Suppose we have two groups G and H and a homomorphism F from G to H. Recall that a homomorphism is a function F such that F of X times Y equals F of X times F of Y. Now, a homomorphism does not have to be one-to-one. -one. It does not have to be an injection. It's possible for many elements in G to map to the same element in H. Similarly, F does not have to be onto. It does not have to be a surjection. But for the groups G and H to be identical, we need the homomorphism F to be one-to-one -one and onto. F needs to be both an injection and surjection. This way we can pair each element in G with a unique element in H, and vice versa. This is a definition of an isomorphism. An isomorphism is a homomorphism that is one-to-one -one and onto. This can be said more briefly as an isomorphism is a homomorphism that is also a bijection. Let's now see some homomorphisms and determine if they're isomorphisms. For our first example, consider the groups of the positive real numbers under multiplication and all real numbers under addition. One homomorphism between them is a logarithm function. We can check that this is a homomorphism by using the laws of logarithms. The log of x times y is equal to the log of x plus the log of y. To see if this is an isomorphism, we have to test if it's a bijection. Let's first check that this function is one-to-one. -one. Suppose that log of x equals log of y. Since the logs are equal, e to each power is equal to. This simplifies to x equals y, so this function is one-to-one. -one. Next, the range of the log function is all real numbers, so this function is onto. So in this example, the log function is a homomorphism and a bijection. That makes it an isomorphism. These two groups are isomorphic. For our next example, the first group will be the non-zero complex numbers under multiplication, which we denote by a C with a multiplication sign. Here it's understood that you are not including zero because zero does not have an inverse under multiplication. The second group will be the complex numbers with absolute value of one under multiplication. We'll denote this group by S1. This is a standard notation when talking about n-dimensional spheres. The S is short for sphere, and the 1 tells us the dimension. In this case, S1 is just the circle in the complex plane with a radius of 1. Recall that every complex number can be written in polar form as r times e to the i theta, where r is the distance of the complex number to the origin, and theta is how far you have to rotate from the positive x-axis to reach the complex number. With this setup, we can now define a homomorphism between these two groups. The function is f of r times e to the i theta equals e to the i theta. You can visualize this by taking any non-zero complex number z, drawing your ray from the origin to z, and mapping z to the point where it intersects s1. But is this a homomorphism? Let's check. Let z equal r times e to the i alpha and w equal s times e to the i beta. We want to check that f of z times w equals f of z times f of w. To begin, substitute in the polar forms. Next, multiply the numbers on the left. Using the definition of the function f, we can see what each value maps to. This gives us e to the i alpha plus i beta equals e to the i alpha times e to the i beta. This is true by the rules of exponents, so this function is indeed a homomorphism. It is also on to, because for every point on the circle, there are an infinite number of complex numbers which map to it. But for the same reason, this function is not one-to-one. -one. So while this is a homomorphism, it is not an isomorphism. Let's recap. An isomorphism is a homomorphism that is also a bijection. If you have an isomorphism between two groups, then you say the groups are isomorphic. This means they have the exact same group structure, even if they look different from each other. The word isomorphism reflects the definition. Iso means equal, and morph means shape. I doubt anyone could think of a better name than this.